Hey YouTube, Zendikari Animist here, and I'm bringing you another League uh, game. I'm using a new theme deck, which is my uh, core theme deck. It's a new deck I've built based on uh, the core creatures, though it has some other non-core in it as well. Uh, that hand's not good, so I'm going to mulligan it. So yeah, here's another one of the humans in the deck. This hand, however, is much better. I'm definitely going to keep it. I'll be putting a land to the bottom and hoping to draw my third land to get my far side add up down. But yeah, it seems like a solid, aggressive start. Okay, looks like I'm playing against some kind of green ramp deck. Ooh, uh, we're going to actually play Soul Warden out here to gain a lot of life. And see how it goes. The deck is not entirely clerics, but it does have a lot of clerics in it. Okay. Got another healer. This seems good. He's ramping pretty hard, though. Gonna get something big down soon, I, I think. I'm not gonna die here, because that would just be a bad idea. Okay. Ooh, blue as well, huh? Interesting. Oh, this is, this is an elf, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be an elf deck. Very cool. So, core versus elves. Interesting. Uh, I could double block. If I did that, I wonder who would kill. I don't think I'd do that, though. I think I'll just take it. Okay, my turn now. So here, there's, there's another one of my uh, warriors. Uh, anyway, so here's the question. We could attack. We didn't draw the third land, which is unfortunate. We could attack here. And he'll give, and I think we'll do that for a couple reasons. One, he could just block, and that's fine. I'll gain two life that way. If he doubles blocks, I can use this to kill one of his creatures. If he blocks, I can kill it. If he blocks, I can also use my feet to kill one of his creatures. So we'll see what he does. He's going to block. The question is, do I want to kill that thing? Uh, or get another creature down. I think I'll just gain the two life here. And play another, let's play another healer. And now I can double block his creature and only lose one of my healers, which is fine. And gain some life in the process. The, the vigilance of the healers is surprisingly irrelevant, I've discovered. Especially if I buff one of them up, which may, which is more reason than maybe I should play the fear of resistance last turn. Because the 3 3 vigilant lifelink is pretty good, I feel. See, so yeah, I probably should do that. Okay, he's not doing anything, so. Still haven't drawn a third land for my far side, which is unfortunate, but I'll attack with both healers. Uh, actually, let's just attack with one healer here. Because I, well, hmm. yeah, I'll attack with one healer, see what he does. If he blocks, I will pump it. Yep, that's fine. Maybe green, as we do. Ooh, interesting. So, we don't die. We don't lose the creature because we're protected from green, but he doesn't die either, either which is too bad. But now we're a 3 3, which is good. Uh, one four. Ooh, that guy's problematic. That guy's gonna be problematic. Does he have enough mana to activate it? Not quite. But he's one away from it. And there's land. So here's the question: We could actually play the far side adept. I don't think I want to give my opponent any more cards though, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, not yet, at least. Uh, especially since I have other things I can play. So we're gonna start by attacking for three. So he'll probably block with the snare caster. No, he just takes it. That's fine. Then I'll play my cliff haven cell sword, which can block this guy hopefully. And you know, the core swords. We're at 34 life, which is very nice, by the way. Because one thing about this deck is it has a lot of incidental life gain and some just pure life gain. These guys give me a lot of life, and I really like that about it, because it's especially good against when you're trying to raise aggro decks. Ooh, that's a lot of guards about to draw. Now I don't feel as bad about playing Farside Adept, though, because he has so many cards that one card's not going to make a big difference, I don't think. Still can't activate the Wild Heart Invoker yet. A Bastro, interesting, okay. Gain more life. He's throwing my gain even more life, and it's my turn now, okay. That's a very good draw. I will play the Utility Knife. Equip it to the uh, healer. This probably should be a short sword, but I like the uh, Zendikar theme of the utility knife. So we'll attack with this only. Yeah, just, just that guy. Once again, 4-4 four, four, Vigilant Life Gain. Putting me above 40. So I can start taking a couple hits now. Okay, he definitely has enough mana to use this guy at least once. Just once, though, currently. He gets trample, right? Yeah, he gets trample. Okay, that's fine. I can afford to take a 9 damage from this guy a couple times. Okay, learn our visionary, draw more cards, sure. Yeah, I gain more life though whenever you play a creature. That's the thing that's really annoying about the Warden, I feel, is that it doesn't just gain life when I get play creatures, but he does too. It's very relevant. Okay, so now we're going to play the uh, Farsight Ed to hopefully draw another land finally. In life, we both draw a card. I got land. Yay. Uh, how much land does he have? Ooh, that's not a good sign. He's happy about the way he draws, I guess. Uh, so we could attack here. We have quite the board stall here. I don't have much ways to break it, though, which is awkward. 
Uh, if I attack, he'll probably double block the guild, so I don't want to attack. Let's play another course turn pass. I bet he drew another distant melody. He can draw so many cards with that. Okay, Visionary, sure. I think my best chance is actually my removal spell, which is on the Hero's Binding. If I put this on this guy, he suddenly can't uh, pump this creature, which would, be, which would be pretty good, I think. Man, what a board we've got here. This is bonkers. Yep, there's this melee. Draw more cards. I have the resolve. Yep, draw it. Draw those cards. Holy cow. Okay, he'll have only 24 cards left in the deck, so he's gonna have to kill me before he moves out. Granted, I, I, might, I, don't, I wonder if I can actually survive 24 turns. 25 turns for him to mill out. I have a lot of life. I'm getting a lot of life, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, sure, but I would track her, sure. If he plays another distant melee, he's going to draw so many cards if, uh, if he plays another one. I'm not sure that's such a good idea for him, though. Okay, well, he's finally killing my Soul Warden. It's fine. It's a little unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Okay, I'm going to gain life with my Soul Warden here. I'm at 50. He now gets to discard a bunch of cards, hand size. Drew so many cards, so many cards there. Let's see who is this card I want her. This is one of the biggest problems with my deck is I run out of hand really quickly. I currently don't have many ways to replenish it. I'm considering splashing blue to, for, for actually for disability or for um uh, other or um, maybe of one mind because I have both humans and core uh, for of one mind, and I also have a bunch of clerics and a bunch of core that I can use uh, with this melee. So I might try both those later down the line. It does, it's not great for the Nahiri flavor, but it, I have enough core that I don't mind that much, I don't think. That's not good. Uh, apparently there's a bug that's not letting him discard. That's really not good. Uh, oh, there it goes. I think. Okay, got it. That's good. Anyway, we're, we're playing a narrow utility knife. This time I will put it on this healer. And I'll attack with a 3 power healer. See what he does. Try to get some more life. Because honestly, right now I think I'm going to get my... Gain, goal to gain a lot of life and have a mill out actually. Which is a, not a great goal, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, sure. Okay, he's blocking that way. I don't think that's the right. Why did he do that? He just lost a token for no value. Eh, who knows? Anyway, my turn. Sorry, his turn. And I'm turn all the gain life of the soul mentor. Assuming I remember. Okay, he's moving to combat. Is he attacking? If he attacks, I might be able to hit him on the kick crack back. Once again, I'm at 53, he's at 13. I have 40 more life than he does. Okay, he's definitely attacking. Yep. So the question is, once he attacks, what do I block with? He's attacking the lost. Can he... Hmm. Okay, sure. So this is what he's attacking with. How much man does he have is the question. <clears throat> he has... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can use this once. So the question is, where do I put my blockers? Hmm. Well, I think I want to block you, you. Huh. You I can put there, I think. I'm saying you can only do it once. You I'm going to put in front of you. I think it's... I'll still block this here. Let's try that. See, he's probably going to pump this one. So actually, if he's going to pump that one, let's switch these. We well, actually probably going block whichever I... Huh, this is tough. He's probably going block whatever this block he'll probably block. So let's keep him back after this block. There, force him to block there, and jump there, I think, actually. Jump is not going to do anything. We'll just block like that, actually. See what he does. Now let's find out who he pumps. 
Oops, I double blocked him. That was not what I meant to do. I did not mean to block like that. I meant that's gonna be he's gonna bump this guy again because I double blocked that. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Why did I do that? That was I meant to block there. Oof. Misclick. Misclick not good. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how you should do it. That's unfortunate. But does he have something else? He has more pump spells? Ooh, Grinch guy, okay. Yep, that works. So it kills both these guys. I still get a bunch of life though, but man, I, that was a big bad misclick on my part. Does he have more pump spells in here? No, I guess not. Okay. That's gonna that was rough. Okay. Still fine on life though. He only get, he did a lot of damage to my board in part because I misclick. Uh, but I'm still at pretty high on life. Okay, there well wood tracker. Another Wildwood Tracker. His board's pretty big, and I gotta gain a life here. Okay, my turn draw. Uh, it's not looking good. I'm gonna definitely attack with this guy, though. Blouch? He could ch chump with everything. No, he, one, two, three, four. No, he can't. So he'll attack with this guy here. Let's see what he does. Once again, the vigilance is nice. I'll be getting a five from this guy. He takes it, okay. I'll pass the turn. That, that double block this on this guy, which I should, meant to block this guy as well. I didn't misclick. That was a big blunder on my part. Okay, so here we go. He's pumping these guys because they do that, and now I got to figure out how I want to block. Once he, if I if I block anything with this guy, he's just gonna kill it. So I don't actually want to do that. I could just try to take LCO see what that does to me, but that seems like a really bad idea too. Uh, if I block with one creature, he'll kill it with this guy. I really need to get my nearest binding. I think I'll take it. I think I'm just gonna take it all actually. I have a lot of life. I can afford to do that at least once. He's not pumping at all. Interesting. Okay, I'm down to 39. He dealt me 11 damage there, it looks like. I think my math is right. I might be wrong, though. Plays there Ambassador Oak. Okay. Another Visionary, sure. Draws a card. 22 cards off the deck. Draws an arc card, so he's going to be 21. That should be interesting. There's no way I can get through it, I don't think, currently. Drawing more cards. What's he drawing into? Gain a life with a soul mender. Draw a card. That's not helpful. If I can get my um, the hero's binding, I think I can pull it, turns around. I've only gone through 17 cards, though. We'll see if that happens. I do have four of them. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take this hit as well. I think. Cool. Once again, he can give trample and stuff. There's not much point in blocking with anything right now. So, is he attacking, is he attacking with everything? Not quite now. Okay, I'll resolve, I'll resolve, and I will take once again take it all. Getting risky though. No blocks. Let's see what he does. Sure, pumps him, pumps himself, okay. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. I'm pretty low now. There goes my massive life, life boost, and he can block for days. Yeah, I think he's probably got this one. Unless I top deck near he's binding right now to who has a lot of creatures. Even then, I doubt my probably tells he has so many creatures. My turn, and yeah, I'm gonna skip it up. Good game. Let's go sideboarding. Huh. Okay, against sideboarding, I'm not sure what's useful in this matchup. I don't think any of these cards are actually gonna be super useful here. Huh. Maybe Light of Hope for a little more life gain, but I have enough life gain, it seems like. I think I'm just gonna run it back. See, so, you know, here's mine was really messing up, though. I really need to draw that card, I think, in this matchup. Uh, also, as you can see, this deck's not done yet. Like, I should be running more soul wards over the menders. I want more courts, uh, bannerets over the choristers, but it's a work in progress, so, you know. We'll see how it goes. Game two. Here we go. I did misclick that thing, but I'm not sure if that was even the correct move. Ooh, that's not good. Bad hand. Uh, this is a little better. I'll be putting a utility knife on the bottom, I think. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it's pretty telling after the bomb, see how it goes. Turn one, Soul Mender. See, if this was Soul Warden, it'd be a lot better. But I don't have enough wild cards currently to craft enough Soul Warden, so. Land Relf, sure, my turn. Okay, let's see if I can get enough mana to play down on turn. Well, actually, turn three would probably be two of these, but. Okay, Cliff Haven Cell Sword, go. Okay, Rose Turn Acolyte, sure. So he, doesn't, yeah, he has to draw those, so I'm going to play the Utility Knife, put onto the Cell Sword. Offer the trade. He's probably going to take the four, I assume. Yeah, he's taking four. I'll play in our cell sword. And then pass. If I see, that, see, I'm almost out of hand already now. I have one card left in my hand, so. As I said, the deck goes through his hand really quickly. Okay. He has a lot of creatures to block with, so. Wow, look at all these guys. Okay, my turn. Draw. Play the far side out. Oh, I should have gained a life there. That was a mis mistake. Uh, draw a card. Go to combat. Attack, attack. See how he blocks. Okay, he's, he's still blocking that one. That's fine. No. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, okay, sure. What are you thinking? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so we're all gonna die. Oh, no, what's he doing? He's thinking about it. Oh, sure, that's fine. So he takes four, kills the Cliff Haven Cell Sword. Play the Chorister, go play the Dry Land Extra so I can pump him up and I'll pass. He has found a blue switch, which is definitely relevant, I think. This time I'm going to remember to gain the life in the turn with my Soul Mender. Okay, there we got We got the land, good. Remove to combat, attack with the Chorister, the Adept, and the Cell Sword, and see how he blocks. Sure, so we'll make the trade there. I have to get this big ability to gain pump him up. So he takes seven here. I lose the uh, cell sword, unfortunately. Uh, but I do gain some life, which is fine. But what's more relevant here is that he has four life here, though. Snare caster, okay. So what do I do about that? So I have some options here. Played land. I can't. This is another reason that this should be the um, what's it called uh, potentially a cell, uh, short sword. Then I could equip it. So the question is, do I equip? Or just attack with the Courser. I think I'll attack with the Courser here, I'm not equipped yet. I may have to attack with this far side adept as well, actually. But I think I forgot to gain life again. Do we? Eh, anyway, back to my ability. Make myself into a 4 4. He's a 2 2. Sure. Go. I always forget to tap this guy at the end of turn. So I haven't found the blue source yet. Turn right this time. Yep, do it. Okay, land for turn. Still can't re-equip yet, unfortunately. But we are going to attack with the Adept as well this time. Because we should have done that last turn probably, because he can't actually easily kill it, so... I could triple block. I think I'm fine with that if he does that, though. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll activate this once again. To kill his land or elf, and, he'll, and nothing happens here, that's fine. Go! Let's see if I can get those last few points of damage in before he's able to stabilize. To keep the pressure going. What does he have in hand? That's, I wonder. Anyway, uh, we're going to gain a life here. My turn draw. Okay, now we can re-equip. So we will equip the utility knife to the adept. Make her a 4-4 as well. And then we will attack with the Adept and the um, Champion. Sorry, the Chorister, not Champion. And once again, we will use the Chorister's ability. Bump them up. Okay, sure, so you don't die. So nothing happens there, it's fine. Still get the life, though, which is not super relevant at this point, I don't think. And I'll pass the turn. However, this guy, so I don't forget to use them. Okay, Rosethorn Acolyte, so he still has a creature, but he only has one card in hand. This does tap for blue, which is very relevant, though. Anyway, we're going to get some life here. Go to 40. Draw a card. Play land. Attack. See what he does. 
rinse, repeat. Boom, boom. Okay, so he needs a creature now if he's gonna uh, survive next turn. He probably has one, I assume. He's elves, so he has a ranger. But does he have the, the draw spell? Even if he does, he won't be drawing that many cards. He got the blue source now. Not that he didn't have it right now. To this, and we got it. We got there. Okay. Once again, we're running it back. Not much changes here. Let's see what happens. Game three. Let's see if we can do that again. Just put enough pressure on early enough. Still haven't drawn here is finding either game though, which is interesting. Okay, this is an interesting hand. So it doesn't have any two drops, it only has one drops. It gains a lot of life, and that life gain is not gonna be enough to win the game, so I'm gonna mulligan it. This hand's even worse, mold of five. Oof, oof, this is fine, I guess. It's not great though, but two lands at the bottom. This is not a give you a pretty good hand. Turn land or elves yet again. Land go. Okay. So we are gonna play Impassion Warrior here and pass the turn. Next I'll play both actually I'll try to do next turn. I might attack with the order, try and get him to use resist fear resistance, and then play Soul Warden if you depending on how he blocks. Okay. Getting all the dudes. Ooh, all the dudes. Okay. Uh, we will attack as I said. See how he blocks. He doesn't have much else in hand though, just two lands and then another card. He takes that's fine, so I will play the Soul Warden. Start gaining some life back. Play Order, gain two more life. It's not this exactly it's supposed to be a life gain deck, it just has a lot of life gain in it because I'm running some clerics. It's kind of interesting. See how much life I gain? Okay, he's about to drop five cards in V. No, oh, in oh interesting, he's also running Field Research. That's cool. That's a cool inclusion. Oh yeah, I'll take it. Ouch, not. Okay, so land for turn. Play this before it does anything shenanigans. Gain three life. Move to combat. Attack, attack. See what he does. He takes it, that's fine. Pass turn. Need more action here though. Utility knife would be good. What else would be good? Uh Utility has the main thing I want. I would also, I guess, yeah, Snare Caster. That guy's annoying. It's a good evolution, though, I feel, considering how annoying he becomes. He really hurts Cloud with your decks, actually, that guy. Draw for turn. Ooh, double feet. Actually, we can kill that guy with double feet and have a 4 4 after that. Let's see what he does. How he blocks. Triple blocking that guy. Okay, single blocking. Okay, so we have options here. I think it's Fear Resistance on both. Naming green on both to get out rid of all those guys. Less health he has, less cards he can draw with a fear with um this melody. So see how that goes. So I took out four of his elves. And I passed the turn. And now two three threes. Which still can't get through these snare casters he's playing, which is unfortunate. I go tracker. Gain a life. 30, land, pass. And I'm gonna get a life here. And it's my turn. And here he's binding. Huh. So that presents a very interesting dilemma. I could bind one of these to try to get some damage in. But I think I'm gonna hold off to try to bind the, um, uh, what's it called? The guy who I don't like and forget the name of. Uh, oof, the uh, Wild Heart Invoker. That's the guy. Okay, he's getting a lot of elves, trying more cards. Still hasn't hit this melody yet, though, supposedly. It's gonna be a very hard board to, to break through, unfortunately. Utility Knife, that is very helpful. We'll play it equipped to one of the Orators and attack with said Warrior. Attack! Could double block with these guys though, which he might do. The Rose Thorn Acolytes. Okay, sure. I'll kill the Acolyte. But then I can just re equip the uh, 
to this guy. I'm not going to deck with him yet, though, I don't think. Pass turn. Okay, land more elves. Just put more elves on the board. Present attack. 36. Yeah, it's not getting one. Ruaz could be also help me break the board, so I think. Because I can bump everyone very nicely. And pass the turn. There's the invoker I've been waiting for. Look forward to binding him and stopping him from bumping his team. He currently has enough man to use it, though, which is relevant. I can definitely take one hit, so I will do so. Let's pump him, be my guest. He doesn't. Okay, sure. Take two, gain one. And it's my turn now. He has no card hand, so he has definitely not the um, uh, range of guile. So that should mess his plans up a lot, I think. No more activated abilities for you. Sure, you want to do it in response? It's fine. Okay, uh, we're not going to attack, though. We'll just play this guy and pass. Gain some life and pass the turn. Wildwood Tracker, sure. Oops, try to gain life there. Fine, though, we're going to get, we're going to attack with this guy. If you blossom away, I need to require me to pump my team. I will. If not, I'll just play my <coughs> Expedition Healer and put the Utility Knife on him instead, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what he does. Sure. I will pump the team here to keep my guy alive. Maybe he didn't realize I could do that. <coughs> Kill two of Thels. And pass the turn. Rothorn Halberd, interesting. But if there's enough equipment to, uh, man to move that around. And that guy's really annoyingly big. Okay. He attacks. I'll take it. That's fine. He'll probably move it afterwards, I'm guessing. Yeah. Now to use, so you're going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. My oops, fighting in life again. Yeah, keep forgetting to do that. It's unfortunate. Uh, attack for four. See what he does. <clears throat> uh, he's not doing anything, so I will not pump the team. I won't play my expedition healer in here. And then pass again. Into life. Hopefully, I'll remember to use this guy this time. I'm gonna hover over him so I don't forget. Okay, draw some, some draw some cards. Give me some life. And Master Oak makes more dudes. Oops, no. He attacks with 4 4. I will take it. He'll. He doesn't, mean, he doesn't have the man. Does he? Yeah, he has the man. He doesn't. I don't know if he does. Uh, gain life. My turn. Okay. So we are going to, once again, just keep doing the thing. Attack with this guy. We can also attack with him. He also does. Attack with the. Kill as well. We can make them aim a 3-3 three, three if we need to. He bosses 3-3. Three, three. And some 1-4s. So I'll kill a 3-3, three, three, obviously. He blocks there. Hmm. No, he's not doing that. He's thinking, yeah, he's doing that. Okay, so we will use my ability. We're losing a lot of guys here. Maybe that was not the best attack. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that, I guess. Kill a 3-3. Three, three. 3-3. Three, three. Pump the team. See where we stand out of this. I still have a utility knife. He's, his board's not as good, but I think it's better because it's a rogue thorn halberd to my utility knife. And his creature's a little bigger, so that's, I still have a lot of life at least. I really don't want to draw this melody because then he just keeps so many cards and draws so many cards. I will take the 6. No block, take 6. And for scan of life, right? Yeah. Yep, move it around. Sure. Can't really attack right now. Land. Okay, so I'm going to equip the utility knife to a CA parent, but I'm just going to pass. He's got to draw a disability eventually. I hope they'll draw something useful eventually as well. So maybe I'll let me break this through his board stall. Sure. He has a man to do that twice a turn, doesn't he? Yep. Okay, attacking with those guys. Hmm. 
Well, I'll throw this guy in front right here. If he has a pump spell, I can still pump my entire team with my Banneret's ability. Let's see what he does. Ram through. Interesting. Uh, pump my team that won't save him, so I'm sure he'll die. It's fine. Take the four. Move it over, as we do. Oh, wait, he moved on to the tapped guy. Oops. Uh, gain a life. Okay, my turn. Draw a card. Not helpful. I'll keep it in hand, though. For one turn, at least. My turn. Gain a life. I think. Draw. That's helpful. Do I want to do anything with it, though? Uh, not yet. I can... I'm also the point where I can use this ability twice. Wow. That'll be helpful when I can do that. Okay, another halberd. Oof, that's not good. Okay. He has some big guys on his field. He has, he's playing them both on you. Okay. 6-5. Hmm. I could massively block him. If I block with you and you, pump you and use feet, yeah, that, that will kill him, so let's do that. Don't really need a soul at this point, I don't think. Block there. Sure. Activate the ability. Activate feet. Naming. I don't think that saves you, though, because I still have six power here. You still can't kill my guy, so yeah. Didn't help. That that was not the right, right play on your part, I don't think. Sure. My turn. Draw. Ooh, another Soul Warden. That's giving me so much life. Uh, okay. Uh, now we will start attacking, I think, with this guy. Well, no, that's no point, because you can still just block and nothing will happen. Those Nearcasters are annoying with their big toughness. Sure. You're 4 3. Congrats. I can still kill in combat. Let's move the other one over. Which one will just take it if you want to do that. My turn, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Impassioned Orator, not super helpful, but it's fine. Actually, I think I want our land here so I can get to 10 mana so I can use the ability twice. How many cards left in this deck? 26? Where do you. Ha he hasn't drawn. What's called? The, um. Uh. How has he not drawn this melody yet? That's crazy. There's the land I needed. Excellent. Uh, now I can pump my CK banner twice a turn. Well, my entire team twice a turn. Maybe he has drawn just some more use because he wants to deck out, but I don't think, I mean, he's gonna, at the rate we're going, he's going to deck out first. Hopefully that's not how I win this one, but that would be crazy if I did. Uh, draw for turn. Okay. I'll pass. No one has really any good attacks right now. I wonder how many, if one of, he must have more than one of these though, right? Hopefully I'll draw another uh, binding before he draws another one of these. What a game. Okay. I'll play a land. Keep one card in hand though. As a mystery card, I guess. I don't know. He, he probably, there's a dismally, but he's gonna draw so many cards. I don't such a good idea. He's down to 12 cards in deck. There's no way to kill me soon. He doesn't have normal with these guys, I guess. But he's giving me a lot of trouble. Does he have another Wild Heart Invoker? Is the question, I guess. I guess we'll find out. Ambassador Oak. Gain more life. Does the dude gain more life? Does he have the Invoker? If he does, he hasn't played it yet. Gain more life. Maybe like me, I haven't crafted enough to some melodies. I haven't crafted any of those yet. I probably should. There's a lot of dudes here. I have a lot of life. So the question is now, can I survive 12 turns? Well, 13, I guess, actually. I'll probably draw some more cards over the course of the game, so we'll see how this goes. 
he's running really low on deck. I, just, I, just, I don't know, we'll see if this works. Holy cow, he's drawing, is he drawing his entire, entire deck now? Is he like... Rogue! Oh, that's clever. That's really clever. Name some of the sides elf. I didn't did not see that. That's hats off for that thinking. Digging for trying still trying to dig for something important though. Is he gonna grab basic land? He realizes that he needs. I think he realizes you know he's in deck out zone though. Cause now he has t nine cards left to deck. He did take the land though. Interesting. My turn. Okay, let's see who I draw. I really need to draw a. Uh, and here he's buying just in case he draws another other invoker. Did not, that's unfortunate. Still have a lot of life. I can take at least a couple hits, I think. But, not, but I don't think I can take eight turns worth of hits. Make it seven turns worth of hits. He's still drawing for looking for what he needs. Not sure what he needs, though. He must have another wild heart invoker he's looking for. This is Melody naming Rogue again, I guess. Yep. Five cards in deck, because he found the wild heart invoker he needs. He's got all four of those. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mana on creatures. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. So that's twenty-one mana. He can pump five times. No, uh, no, it costs eight mana to pump, so he can pump twice? Yeah, he can pump twice only. Even if he draws another one. He won't be able to do it that turn. Okay, he's still drawing cards, looking for an out. Every time he plays a creature, I just gain more life. I don't think he's going to win this one. What a hard tracker, okay. I'm at over 60 life here. Whew, boy, what a game. He attacks, finally. Attacks with lots of things. If he's trying to attack here. Okay, so we have we have lots of blocks here. We have well we have four blocks, we can pump the team twice. He I don't think he has much pumps many pump spells in his hand. So what how do we block this question? Okay, pass the blockers. You. Get in front of you. You get in front of you. And I think that's all I'm gonna do actually. For damage, we're going to use his ability twice. Let's see what he does. Sure, make me a 4 4. Actually, my ability twice, just in case. That's what shenanigans you have, I'll do it anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, well, there goes my massive 60 life. Down to 46. I took 14 there. Okay, far side up, that's actually. So, uh, draw, making him draw cards is actually very relevant here, because of course it means that he's down on our card. If I land, so he can slip on his ability twice, and I will pass the turn. We're definitely on the middle of that plan, because here he has two cards left in his deck. Can he get there? He's going to flunge again, no doubt. And I have even more blockers I can use. So many, so many dudes attacking me. Okay, how do I block? I'll find out. What a crazy game. He's holding some guys back, okay? Because he's only killing him on the, he's only made to kill him on the crack pack, makes sense. Sure, resolve that ability, okay. He has a lot of mana. Pass the blockers. I will block you. I will block you. And I will block you. And I will use the ability twice, as I do. Range of Gal, okay. Activate my ability. Activate it again. How much damage do I take? Not as much as the last time, okay. Another far side deck would really ruin him right now, I think. <laughs> How many of those have in this game? Ooh, Blazing Volley. Who just died? Does he have another one? No one just died. No, that guy just died. That's fine. Land. Go. 
hand. He has one card left in his deck. Can he get there? Okay, so he has this turn and next turn. Oh, there's the wild card he's been looking for. Second to bottom. Man, that's rough. How many times can he activate it? Well, I guess we're going to find out. So he has two turns. This turn, a combat phase, and next combat phase to kill me. And he can give dudes trample, which is relevant. Okay. Oh boy. Blocking time. So we're going to block... How? They all have one power except for that guy, so we'll do this. Uh, chumping doesn't really help any so we'll block there. Actually, I'm going to throw these guys under the bus, I think. Start blocking with them. I don't think he's going to be playing more creatures soon, so let's do this. See who he pumps first. He has priority. Shh. Oh, right. I should not. That makes sense. Well, I'll use this guy twice, as I do. He unfortunately will still die, though, to that guy. Okay, I'm at 30 life here. Can we survive the next turn is the question. Less than, ooh. Uh, that's the question. Can we survive this coming turn? We'll find out. In Son of Man, I think he used the ability twice currently. Maybe three times. Play the ball. Oof, that's not good. Let's see if he gets there. He's going to swing with everything. I'll block whatever's biggest, which is this. And then we'll just see what happens. Either he has enough damage on board or he doesn't. I don't know. I don't really want to do that math right now. See enough guys so we can pump enough times. Get into the bus, see what happens. Okay. Moment of truth. Does he have 30 points down? He, he very well might. That's one. Two. Okay, let's find out. Ah, I got there. He did not have 30 points damage here. Woof, what a crazy game. Good game, good game. 